Alright. Hi, my name is Robert Christian Dennis. I am 32 years old. I am attending Cal State University of Chimes. here taking a master's program in educational leadership with an emphasis on college-based administration. My disability is I'm a paraplegic. And one, two, three. So paraplegic, my disability, is someone that has either had an accident, a fall, or sustained some kind of hemorrhaging injury to the spinal cord area. My injury is a T10 level, uh, which is about belly button high, and it, what happened is I separated two vertebrae and structured my spinal cord. My spinal cord is intact, so I have a complete spinal cord, but my uh, neurological damage limits my ability to use my legs. Is there anything that specifically happened? I fell off a three-story building at the age of 25. I really don't know what happened because I broke my wrist, hit my head and uh, maintained a minor contusion that uh, caused amnesia and also broke my uh, left radial finger. Uh, objectively, I would have to say it does hinder my disability, does hinder some part aspects of my life, um, mobility. I find myself not being able to play sports in the same way that uh, I go with friends, or maybe not even going on trips to the same places as friends. Um, I have a good network of people that understand this, and we try to adapt my, mine and their lives in accordance so that we can actually spend time together. Um, I can also say that it objectively it, it can be differential for relationships with, uh, with the opposite sex and because there's a level of intimacy that you would love to be able to run up and just hug someone. And for me, I, due to me being bound in a wheelchair, I objectively have almost a self-force field that's uh, put on me and it's, it's uh, disheartening, but the difference is, you know, just like good friends, when you meet someone that is understanding and caring, you find ways to work around it. So in that way, I would say that even though there are hindrances, I still find ways to go forward and find new approaches to my own life. I find that one of the most positive things about my disability is people's uh, want and desire to get to know me. I feel that they told me multiple times that I'm a person that they feel comfortable in approaching and talking to. So in that way, I get to meet a wide variety of people. Um, I, I objectively also have a little bit of a devilish side to me that likes to uh, manipulate my disability to uh, get guilt or whatnot. I recently got VIP into a concert because I just uh, I gave the guy uh, a hug and said, you know, it would really make my day. And objectively, I think that people want to do kind things for other individuals, but when you have a disability, it gives them the excuse already to be kinder than what they want to be. Uh, so in that way, I hope I'm not manipulating them, but giving them the opportunity and myself the opportunity to enjoy life. I would have to say that the most negative thing about my disability is the idea that um, when I see fathers tossing up a kid in a pool and wrestling around on the ground with them or you know teaching their kid how to skateboard uh, those those opportunities have been taken from me uh, maybe and possibly by myself but I mean there's no cure for my disability as of yet uh, I hold hope but you can't you can't bank on hope you have to go forward with your life and live it as best as you can so when I think about the worst things, I find new ways to try to approach it so that it doesn't uh, doesn't depress me and it doesn't make me sad, but it gives me a little bit of inner strength for knowing a new way to do to live a life fully. When I think about the idea of a cure for my disability and the idea of taking it, you have to really weigh the consequences. Um, you know, is it is it really worth the, the regimental treatment that it would take. Most 
cures aren't simple fixes. They take a lot of effort. Um, even if they could, if they could give me back feeling in my legs, I would still have to spend many years working on building up muscle tissue and relearning how to walk. And I may never be the the man I was before. So when I think about it, if I if I could. I objectively would love to say that I would, but I would have to weigh that at the time and place in my life. If I had a family, well, the priority might not be emphasized on me being cured, but more making my family's life uh, a fulfilled little family of great people and individuals that of caring and compassion, rather than just me solely thinking about my own ability or inability to deal with what I already um, I would have to say that the things that bothered me that I find with my disability that other people uh, are disingenuous about, um, more often than not, is I see cars passing by and I see people in the car staring for long periods of time. And, you know, that five year old mentality of like just locking onto something and just blatantly disregarding of the other individual's feelings. Uh, is there and that bugs me um, but I get over that but I would have to say the most most thing that bugs me uh, that people do uh, is essentially that they always try to invade my space and in the attempt to help me uh, they don't objectively uh, when they go to ask, they they already lean in. I've multiple times gone up a hill, and you know that's my struggle. And if I need the help, I, granted, I'll definitely ask for it. But you should never invade the personal space of an individual in a wheelchair uh, because it's their it's an extension of their body more so than what you see as a physical uh, apparatus. I guess the most shocking thing that most people wouldn't know is that. This, I wasn't born this way. Uh, most people would perceive when they see me that I was born this way. Um, it was an accident and it was my own, one of my own volition. So, I mean, in that way, I think that when I tell people, they get really surprised because they always want to put people in boxes as if they came out that way. They were born that way. But a lot of us, you know, some of our disabilities are degenerative. They get worse over time. We're never. It's and they come later on from diagnoses or from injuries. So, so I guess for me, one of the big things that I would say that I want most people to know about me is that I am a really easy person to approach, and you can pretty much ask me anything as long as you ask it in a way that comes from wanting truth instead of just ignorance. If you come in. Uh, just spouting out how you know the next cure or you know so much like you have a friend that was in a wheelchair or you were in a wheelchair once too that's a little bit different for me than my life of being bound to a wheelchair from now on permanently and I would say that you know just talk to me just feel free to know that I'm a friendly guy I'm not just some guy in a wheelchair um, and I would have to say the thing that I would really appreciate people learn about people in wheelchairs is don't invite them to the beach or to the snow because that's not really their playground. Um, there are devices, but they're really expensive. So be be attentive in what you're, what you're planning to be uh, going to or doing with an individual that has a disability. All right, so I would say something really fun was recently I went to a, a concert where Kanye West was playing and uh, we got to go backstage and also the backstage was one of my favorite bands of all time and because I mean I'm just a happy-go-lucky guy and you know this does give me a little bit of a free pass in being able to introduce myself with my level of confidence that I have with me being so comfortable um, I went up to the band that I was like a big fan of when Kanye West was going on and I tapped uh, the female singer and her husband on the shoulder and I said like would you guys want to dance and we got to like we just tore up the 
floor for the whole set. It was the coolest experience ever. And I just felt really grateful at that moment to be who I am and to just get to do that experience of all things, you know? What a great day that was. Thank you.